uh, in this video we are going to be simulating an rpl network in our kuja simulator uh, so i've already i'm already in the kuja directory uh, all i have to do is to launch the kuja simulator so i'm going to issue the command uh, sudo and run and then i hit enter now i need to enter my password and then i hit enter so this is going to launch the kuja uh, simulator for me all right so uh this is a kuja simulator it has successfully launched so i'm going to go to file here and i'm going to select new simulations so i'm going to name my simulation rpl simulation uh, rpl simulation and then i'm going to click on create now this is the kuja uh, simulator environment uh, let me just adjust some of the windows here uh, let me drag this one here so that we can have uh, more space for this uh, network uh, window here there all right so let me expand this one as well all right so next uh, okay let me just expand it again all right, so next thing that we are going to do, we are going to select the mode. So we are going to mode, add mode, and then create new mode type. I'm going to select sky mode. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to browse. And under this particular uh, uh, Quantiki NG, I'm going under Quantiki NG, there's a folder called examples. So I'm going to go to examples, open, and I'm going to select RPL UDP, open. And I'm going to select RPL UDP server.c. Select this one. Then I will compile it. So just successfully so compile, I'll click on create. So I just need one server mode. So I'll click on add mode. So it has successfully added the mode for me. This is the mode. Now I uh, next is to add the client mode. So I'll just go over again, click on the mode, select add mode create new mode and i'm going to select uh, sky mode again uh, and then i'm going to go browse i'm going to select udp client.c open and then i'm going to compile it as well click on create and then here i'm going to specify uh let's say eight modes click on add mode so as we can see it has successfully added the mode for me can click on this so uh, and then you can come on that view here and then you can enable some of these options here mode relation mode ids radio traffic 10 meter 10 uh, meter background grid radio environment edgm you can enable some of the you can play around with this on this option to see what they are and how they work so uh, one of them uh, this green is what is called the radio uh, uh, traffic it shows the transmission range of a particular uh, of a particular node like for instance this eight when i click on it it gives all the trans transmission uh, limit of this particular node so up to this node five we will be able to hear uh traffic transmissions uh will be able to hear uh will have a transmission we will be able to will be able to hear transmission traffic from this particular node five so there's direct communication between node eight and node five but there is no direct communication between node eight and node two Likewise, when I click on node 2, and this all these nodes are within the transmission range of this node 2, node 5, node 1, node 7, node, node 3. Um, but we are particularly concerned with this particular uh, uh, node. Node 1 is the root node. You can remember we selected it as a server node. So this is uh, node 1. So all these nodes are within the, tr the transmission range of this particular node 1. But this node 6, node 4, node 8, they will have to select. Uh, an intermediary node that will select that will serve as a trans uh, a forwarding node for them to be able to communicate with this node one so i'll click on start to start the simulation to start the network and then later on we see the we'll go through the mode output and see what are the results what can we be able to decide decipher from these uh, communications of this particular node as we can see the nodes are communicating uh, we can see the communication between the modes. So after a while, I'm going to click, I'm going to pause the simulation and then go through the mode output. 
so I can stop it now. Let me pause it. And then now let's view the mode output. Uh, starting from the beginning. So we can see some of the mode output. We have not 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 ID not it starting from Tiki NG release version 4.4.97 uh routing rpl lit network six uh, six low fan mac csma and then at o2 and twitchin dot four for an id and then uh at o for channel 26 and on our house we have we have not uh, not id not it uh we have a link layer address this is the link layer address tentative link local ip version six address uh, we have the CC240 CCA threshold, and then that is one at eight information, and then we have node two configuration uh, network information, and then as we go down again, you can see communication between. We have node eight sending request zero to uh, this is the IP address of node one, which is the server node. And then we can see node one so receive request hello zero from node eight, and then it is sending the response, and we can see node eight has received hello from uh, node one, and then we have node two we send the request zero to node one, and we have node six also send the request to node one, and then we have node one sending hello uh, receive request from node two and it is has sent a response. So let's look at some of these nodes that are not within the transmission range of node 1. We have our Okay, we have our node 1 here. So as we can see node 6 and node 4 and node 8 8 6 4 they are not within the transmission range of node uh, of node of, of our server node node 1. But yet they were able to communicate with the uh, okay where is it what outputs they were able to communicate with the node 6 node 8 and node 4 uh, node 8 we can see node 8 send the request 1 to node 1 receive request hello from node okay uh, let me see so receive request we can see in this line node 1 receive request hello 1 from node 8 and it has sent a response and we can see not it has received errors for but yet they are not within the same uh transmission range but what happened is that uh what happened is that there is an intermediary node between them that was able to relay the traffic of this node 6 node 4 and node 8 to node 1 so node 8 can select say node 5 as it is on parent that it that is going to relay its traffic to node 1 and likewise node 6 or node 4 can select uh, may say node 2 of their parent to relay their traffic to node 1 so through through this particular intermediary uh, parent node they are able to communicate with the node 1 which is the root node in this particular rpl uh, network